Special needs students at a Valley High School got to put on a show today showcasing their basketball skills in front of hundreds of students. Yeah, and this is a unique event held in Scottsdale. Michael Raimondi went out there to check it out for us. Well, for so many schools here around the Valley, just a typical Thursday, but here at Desert Mountain, a really cool event. I've been to lots of basketball games as a sports fan in my life, but I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. These players are warming up and getting ready to ball up. Love our kids. Coach Kim Dever is making sure everyone is ready to take the court. The teams, which are made up of special needs students, are getting ready for tip off with some help from their peers. For Desert Mountain High School, it is much more than just a game. Once the game begins, this gymnasium is rocking. When the students hit a bucket, their name is announced in front of hundreds of their classmates who are skipping lunch to be here. It's a great event because it's nice to see our students out here supporting our special needs kids. Coach Dever started this unified basketball game. The school comes together for it to watch some ball and see some hilarious personalities. Our special needs kids just feel absolutely on top of the world after this event. It's a unique event at Desert Mountain High that parents truly appreciate. It is everything that a parent dreams of. You just want your child to be part of a community and this school offers that. Carly Parkhill says her daughter Ella has thrived at this school. Other parents agree and hope more schools at events like this. I'm just glad that Katie scored most of the points. Katie, great job, honey. Students practice for a few weeks before the game, which is only once a year. This was the biggest turnout yet, as they had to open bleachers on both sides of the court to fit everyone who was watching and cheering. It's really heartwarming to, yeah. to see all the other kids supporting the special needs children. So the plan is to host this basketball game at least once a year into the future, but they're also looking at expanding and having more sports available as well. We'll be sure to keep you updated on that. Reporting in Scottsdale, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family.